Hey, howdy! It's Sunday! And I was almost late because I was watching Law and & Order. <laughs> and it was an episode that I'd never seen before. So yeah, I was almost late come, um, tuning in with you guys. But hey, today is Sunday and it is November the 5th. And if you are, oh my gosh, good! The notifications are working tonight. Hey, Sheila! So if you all are joining us on um, Sunday, November the 5th, then this is live. And when this is recorded, this is a live Facebook chat. So I will be talking to people. So hey, Sheila. Um, I see that Cheryl's here. So hey, Cheryl. Hey, Pat. Hey, Shanna. Hey, Tammy. So this is awesome. I also have the iPad set up over here just in case since we had a little glitch um, last week. And hey, Claudie. Um, hey, Margaret. So if you're joining us live tonight on Sunday, hey, Lynn, then you'll notice I'm talking to people live because this is a live um, chat. Hey, Debbie. How's Orlando doing? Um, hey, Cindy. And so, yeah. So if you're watching this later, and hey again, Cheryl. And hey, Tedders. How are you? We ask, ask every week how Tedders is doing because I'm hope we're all hoping that you're getting better. And hey, Lori. Oh, oh, oh. I see Sally came on. Sally, 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 Cheryl beat you, so you're a teeny bit late, like a minute late, and that's it. And hey, Loretta, hey, Loretta, hey, Lisa, hey, Janet, hey, Georgian, good to see you, hey, Laura. Um, so if you're joining us later, then, um, yeah, you'll notice that this was live. Hey, Kathy, yeah, Kathy's been gone for a while, and she's back, and hey, Andrea, um, tonight, I'm going to need a timekeeper. I need somebody um, to tell us when, let's see, uh-oh, Sally says that Rosalinda wants to join in. Mm -mm -mm. I have a feeling there's going to be shenanigans tonight. And hey, Karen. Hey, Karen's been gone for a little, one of my Karens. She's been gone for a little while, been moving. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Angela. Hey, Kristen. Hey, Christine. Yeah. And so Sally, oh, Sally's asking if somebody can help her get into the chat. So, yeah, that can't be me because I can't do it while I'm actually talking. So, hey, Rose. And good, Tedders is doing better. Um, Pat says, hi, happy Sunday. Hey, Kim. Hey, Joyce. And, um, yeah, so Sally's still asking for help for Rosalinda. So, if somebody, know, if somebody can help her. Um, and it's funny. There's the other Kim. Hey, Kim. And you did not have dueling Kims tonight. Um, hey, Shirley Ann. Hey, Christine. Hey, Sandra. Okay, so I'm going to slow down on telling everybody hey. Um, because we have a lot to talk about tonight. So I know everybody's fretting that I'm making you wait until the end, um, until the end of the chat. Hey Dolly, until the end of the chat to hear about some of the new things um, that are going on with Weight Watchers. It's just some of the things that I, um, that I do know about. Um, hey Barbara and hey Carla. So we are going to talk about, and actually this is Weight Watchers chat number, what number is this? 45, I think. Sadly, I didn't even, it's, I don't know, it's on here somewhere. I think it's number 45, um, and we're going to do something special at 50. Um, but we're going to talk a little bit, and here's another Lynn. It's Lynn from South Carolina. Hello. We're going to start with um, the uh, topic for this week. And yes, YouTube people, when you're watching this later, this is backwards. I know it's backwards because I choose not to turn my screen around. So we're going to talk about this week's topic first, we're gonna, and this is about having a good night, um, and I called it getting some Z's, and hey, Vicki from Florida. So we're going to talk about that first, and then I need, um, oh, and uh, Tedder says that Sybil said to send hugs to everybody. She won't be joining us tonight. Mm, hugs, Sybil, and thanks, Carla. I had to remind me what chat number it is because I can't even keep up with it myself. Anyway, thank you, Carla. It is chat number 45. So, and there's Stacy. And y'all just forgive me. This is like the third time that I've had a hot flash today. We're actually going to talk about hot flashes while we're talking about the the weekly, the have a good night. So, yeah. Um, oh, and Debbie wants to know, um, did I get the 1,000 YouTubers this week too? I did. We have a 1,000 YouTubers, so that's very exciting. And guess what I got for having a 1,000 YouTubers? <gasps> Nothing, except you all were just as excited as I was. Um, and thank you. I'm going to pause for a second. Stacy says, I like the color on your hair. Thank you, Stacy. My husband and I did this this morning. And we have some accidental highlights that we didn't mean to do. Um, that's from having your husband help you color your hair. But anyway, I digress. Um, so yeah, so we got to the thousand on um, on YouTube. And so far, the only thing that I've noticed that's different is the last two videos that I um, posted. Hey, Judy. And Judy actually made it tonight instead of having to watch it on YouTube. So good. So good. And Jenny, no, you were just in time. We just started. But anyway, the only thing that I've noticed um, different, and thank you, Kim says beautiful hair too. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I'll let hubby start coloring my hair all the time. 
But um, the only thing that I noticed that's different since we hit a thousand YouTubers is now the last two videos that I've posted have been um, like temporarily, uh, you know, kind of limited because they're saying that it could potentially have um, inappropriate content. We're talking about food and we're talking about Weight Watchers. I really don't know what could be inappropriate about that. Casey said that maybe the one um, that was about Halloween candy, <laughs> she said maybe it's because I kept saying Sugar Daddy and Sugar Baby. Um, the last one though was my Trader Joe's haul. And hey, Vicki from California. Um, the last one was my Trader Joe's haul. And thank you, Jenny. Thank you for the compliment on my hair. Um, but yeah, so I don't know, is it because I had a little meltdown about not being able to find any delicata squash? I don't know what I keep saying that they're thinking that it's, um, that it might be inappropriate content. Anyway, so that's literally the only thing different that I've noticed since we got to a thousand YouTubers, so go figure, whatever, but I'm still having fun doing it. Um, and I've actually kind of found a little niche, so I'm having, a, I'm actually having a lot of fun. Hey, Betty! Um, and thanks, Carol. <laughs> thanks for the, so I, I guess I'm gonna let my husband always help me with my hair. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I'm having a good time doing that. Um, I know we like to do a lot of this stuff live on the chats, um, but the Trader Joe's one was like, oh, and Rosalinda made it. Whoever helped Rosalinda get here, thank you. She is here. She is here from Texas. So hello, Rosalinda. So she has been trying hard to get into the chat tonight. So everybody say hi to Rosalinda and congratulate her. And thank you, whoever, thank you, whoever helped her get in. Um, but anyway, so I know we like to do a lot of these things live on the chat. Um, oh, and Carrie got some delicata squash today. I'm so jealous. Ours is completely sold out. Oh, and thank you. Lisa says that there's over 100 watching. Yay. Yay, 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 yay for us. Um, but anyway, so what was I going to say? Oh, but that was so easy to do the um, the Trader, to do another Trader Joe's, like what I had gotten at Trader Joe's that day, to do it not live. So I appreciate y'all letting me switch to the weekly topic so that we can, you know, interact with them. Um, y'all can always ask questions about the, um, you know, when I do them, um, you know, separately when they're not live, because um, I, I do see them, I do see all the comments. So, um, Anyway, tonight we are going to be talking about having a good night and why rest and sleep are important, but I need a timekeeper. Um, I need somebody to let me know when it's about 20 till. So right now, according to my um, Fitbit, it is 8.07. Um, so I need somebody to let me know when it's about 20 till 8 because we are going to talk about, oh wait, yeah, who's doing angry faces? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why. See, I can't tell who it is, but I don't. I don't know why. So, in case this is your first time here, um, please watch your fingers. Um, don't do any angry faces because it actually keeps this from being viewed by, um, you know, by people who want to be able to watch it. So, really not sure who that is that's doing the angry faces, but. Yeah, let's just do thumbs ups and hearts um, because, and the smiley faces are okay because that lets us know, um, I mean, that lets us, you know, be seen by other people, um, you know, and people that need this chat will be able to find it faster if we only have thumbs ups and hearts and maybe some um, smiley faces. So, oh, and no sad faces. I don't know who's doing the sad face. Are y'all doing the sad face and the angry face because I couldn't find any delicata squash? If so, it's okay. It's okay. We don't need any angry faces. Anyway, so we're going to do um, the first 40 minutes we're going to do um, on the weekly, what our weekly meeting was about. Um, how many people got to attend a meeting? So I definitely went to my meeting this week. I um, was really glad that I did. Um, it's funny, the last couple of weeks, the meeting has been exactly what I needed. Um, so two weeks ago, two weeks ago, the meeting was about um, emotional eating. And I had just finished cleaning out my mother's um, apartment because um, it looks like she's going to be staying in the nursing home probably indefinitely, which no sad faces about that. No sad faces. We don't need any sad faces on the chat. Um, but anyway, she's in good spirits. Um, so otherwise, anyway, so that was about, it was about emotional eating. I needed that one that week. And then this week, um, it was about, this week our weekly meeting was about having a good night and getting a good night's sleep. And... I needed this one. 
So we're gonna talk about that first. We're gonna talk about having a good night's sleep and what that does for your weight loss efforts. And then at about 20 till, then we're gonna talk about um, some things on the new program. So I don't want anybody to panic about things on the new program. Um, I promise we will get to it. We'll get to it at about 20 till. So, and I know somebody said that they would be my timekeeper. Hey, and it's another Karen and it's her first time. So this is a different, this is a different Karen. Everybody say hi to this Karen. Um, it's her first time here. Um, and everybody keep, yeah, we don't need the angry faces or the um, frowning faces. And the people on YouTube are going, what are y'all talking about? Because they can't see them. So YouTube people, don't worry about this. If you want to come back and watch this later, um, you can watch it here on Facebook or you can watch it. And hey, this says my son-in-law, Alan, is watching. Hey, Alan. Um, but you can come back later and watch this here on Facebook. Um, you can watch it. Uh, you'll be able to pull it up from my blog. That's www.ifyouhaveanegg.com. And you'll also be able to watch it later on YouTube. I'll actually get the YouTube put up first. Um, and that's just youtube.com forward slash if you have an egg. And it is June's first time here. So everybody say hi to June. It's her first time here. So welcome. It's good to see you all. And um, I don't know how many of you all get the radio show, um, John Boy and Billy. Um, I haven't listened to it in years, but when people are here for the first time and I'm saying, and they're saying, hey, it's our first time watching it, always makes me think of um, when they used to say, um, and Tammy, it's okay, so Tammy says she's new here. Is this a weekly live stream? Yes, Tammy, this is a weekly live stream. Every Sunday night at 8 o'clock, we are here live, and um, but then you can, like I was saying, you can watch the replays on YouTube, on Facebook, um, or on my blog. Um, but yeah, so I feel like when I'm saying, hey, and when people are saying, you know, first time watcher, you know, it's their first time watching it, um, then I always think of on John Boy and Billy, you know, when people call in, they go, hey, first time caller. Anyway, that's a total sidetrack. So, and whoever's doing the angry faces, yeah, Sally's going to get you. She's going to get you. Um, so, Alan says that both of them are watching and they are picking up some groceries. So, you're watching while you're picking up groceries? That's hilarious. Anyway. Let's go ahead and get started. So somebody, I know somebody said that they would be my timekeeper. Um, hey, Mary, oh, it's, and it's Jenny's first time. Everybody say hi to Jenny. Yeah. Um, and hey, hey, Kim. Hey, Mary. Hey, Barbara. Yeah. Hey, guys. So, okay. Um, and Kristen, and y'all don't get so wound up about the um, about the angry faces. As we get more people, um, we'll have, we will have people on here that are not our warm and chummy. Rest assured, though. Here's the good news. So for those of you who want to, who are wanting to join our private, um, our, our uh, closed Facebook group, I'll be able to see who you were. And so if you ask to be, to, you know, to join, you're not going to get in. And hey, Kathy from West Virginia and Barbara is from ZK. What is ZK, Barbara? I'm fascinated now. Somebody tell me what ZK is, because I want to know. And hey, it's Gail's first time. Okay, I'm gonna. There are a whole lot of new people tonight, but I'm gonna start talking. Or, or, we're not gonna get through this. So I have a timekeeper. They're gonna let me know when it's 20 till, so we can talk about some of the new program stuff. But the very first thing, we're gonna talk about this. And remember, if you're watching, well, if you're watching this on Facebook, or if you're watching this later on YouTube, yes, this is backwards. You don't need to tell me. I choose not to turn my screen around because I don't know my. Everything's just catty wampus um, when I try to turn around backwards and then I, I don't know where to look. So we're gonna talk, first we're gonna talk about last week's um, meeting topic and that was um, have a good night and on the weekly it says how to get better longer sleep it can help you succeed. So who went to a meeting last week? If you went to a meeting last week um, do a thumbs up and um, I hope you all always get a chance to attend a physical meeting. I know some of you are um, out of country um, you're in areas where it's hard to get to or you're just having to take a break from the physical meeting right now. Um, so, I, you know, whenever you get a chance to, uh, um, to attend a physical meeting, I really hope you will. Um, and if you do, so if you go to the physical meeting, always pick up a weekly. Um, if you don't get a weekly, look, if you've missed a week, your leader should have weeklies available for you to pick up the next week. And if you're online, if you are on Weight Watchers Online, or if you're doing um, eTools, so if you're an online member only, um, or you're, um, oh, Barbara, that's so sweet. Barbara says, wow, first time to see your pretty red hair. Gorgeous. Well, I wish it was mine. It came out of a box. Um, I'll have to dig that box out and remember what color it was. Anyway, um, just kidding. So, if you are Weight Watchers Online only, um, or if you've missed 
and your leader doesn't have one or you know or you're on eTools you can always get a copy of the weekly you can download it as a PDF file you do have to have a membership to do that though um, so if you have, if you you know if you attend a physical meeting or if you have an online membership you can always get the weekly so the weekly for this week was um, having a good night and I took lots of notes in mine so don't know if y'all can see all that and again it's backwards um, hey Nancy and it's backwards so my first question is who lives in a state that participated in the time change we totally did. So we got an extra hour of sleep last night. And even though Owen Myra says that we're her meeting, that's very sweet. Um, and Cheryl says she posted the link for the weekly in the group earlier this week. Thank you for doing that, Cheryl. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and say your all's comments are coming up so fast. I'm going to have trouble talking and reading them. So I'll read them. I'll try to read them um, as best as I can. But I promise I'll, I'll look at all of them after we're done. Um, but who lives in an area that participates in the time change? Yeah, a thumbs up for that. So we do too, and um, this is like my favorite day. <laughs> the end of daylight savings time is my favorite. It's like my favorite day almost of the year, um, and I really wish they would leave it like this. Um, or just pick a time, pick one and stick with it. It drives me crazy, you know, when we when we go back and forth. Me personally, okay, I guess, I guess me personally, I would rather we we stayed on daylight savings time and just um, and just left it alone because I prefer it to be dark in the morning um, and then lighter late later at night. So what did you all do for your extra hour? So for our extra hour, John and I slept. Ha! <laughs> we, we did. We slept. We slept because this week's Weight Watchers topic was about getting enough sleep. So we decided that we would just sleep and that's such a rarity because he's gone back out of town again. You know, I got in, I just got him back from Texas. He was here for like two two days I think and I just shipped him back off to Tampa Florida so he's already out of town again so we took advantage of that and slept the extra hour and then we got up and I made him his very first bacon apple pie wego so he's you know even though I took him to the airport he's feeling like you know king of the world because he got an extra hour of sleep and he got a bacon apple pie wego anyway so time change people um, you slept you know those of you who slept an extra hour like me um, that's really probably not too good for us. I know, you know, we only do it once in a while, but my next question is, where are my nappers? So I was the president of the nap club while Casey was, while she was small. And seriously, I think she probably does still consider me her, um, oh, when Sally said her animals didn't care about the extra hour. Oh, that's true. They would probably be up. Dusty though, is such a lazy bones. He slept right with us. Like he didn't care. He, um, he stayed in bed. Yeah, he stayed in bed for the extra hour. So Dusty had an extra hour of sleep too. Um, but where are my nappers? So nappers do hearts. Do hearts if you take a nap. But I was president of the nap club the whole time Casey was growing up. And I bet if you asked her today who the president of the nap club is, she would still say me. I, though, am the person who a 15 to 30 minute power nap that's all that's all that works for me if I sleep for more if I nap for more than 30 minutes I'm done I am toast like um it's just not gonna be good because um oh 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 and Kristen says we were up to 134 at one point yay awesome um that's so good but um but yeah so I'm the 15 to 30 minute napper um if it's if I sleep more than 30 minutes I might as well just go ahead and sleep because I'm going to be crabby crabby when I get up so it looks like quite a few of um, you all are nappers Carrie says she just can't nap that's not necessarily a bad thing Um, nothing I'm talking about today is encouraging you to nap I was just curious who our nappers were so last week we talked about emotional eating you know we talked about what our emotions do to cause us to want to eat and I have to tell you the two that were the most that I got the most comments on um, from you know from an emotional standpoint were when people were sad it was like sad and sad and lonely um, I, I'm kind of combined those um, together so when people were sad or lonely they seemed to eat a lot and then the other one was a grouping of people were calling it tired fatigued exhausted so tired fatigued and exhausted seems seemed to be I mean that was right there in the top two 
of emotions that were making people eat. And I have to admit, when I am tired, fatigued, or exhausted, that is a time when I'm gonna have a tendency to either overeat or um, when I'm gonna make some bad, um, some bad choices. And, um, and I don't know why we're talking about being sad. Sally said, how can we be sad with these members? If you feel sad, come to us. Oh, who's feeling sad? Oh, 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 sorry. Okay, Sally, you know how my brain works. I just completely, yeah, just anyway. Yeah, just completely, I don't know, just went away for a second. Yes, if you were sad, come to our group. If you were doing an angry face though, you're not getting in. Because remember, I'll know who you are after I get off of here. Anyway, um, so yeah, if you, yeah, the sad, sad, bored, or lonely people, come on over to the If You Have an Egg group. I promise those girls will keep you entertained. I promise. Um, so, okay. So, but the tired, fatigued, and exhausted, there was a, and yes, 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 Tedders, big time squirrel. But the tired, fatigued, exhausted um, was also one. Me personally, when I'm tired, fatigued, or exhausted, I make bad decisions. Um, so when I don't get enough sleep, um, like the note, the times that I have to get up at you know two and three o'clock in the morning and get John ready to go to the airport, you know having the extra hour to sleep this morning that was a rarity. That doesn't happen. Most of the time I'm getting up at two or three o'clock in the morning, getting him ready, getting him packed. Um, he is a really good packer. <laughs> he does all of his own laundry. He actually does my mom's laundry too. Yeah. Um, but, um, and hey, Diane's a little bit late, but she's coming in. Hey, Diane, you're just in time. Um, but anyway, so yeah, most of the time I'm getting up in the middle of the night. Um, plus, I run my own business. Plus, I do this. So when I don't, um, when I don't get enough sleep, um, I make bad decisions. I make bad food decisions. Um, and Lori says she gets migraines if she doesn't get up once she wakes up. Um, no go going back to sleep. So I'm not, um, and Sally says that I'm frozen. So I can't tell that I'm frozen. Um, I don't think I'm going anywhere. Let me just check and see if I can find it on the iPad over here. Um, anyway, I don't think I'm frozen. So if I'm not frozen for you, please do a thumbs up. If I am frozen for you, sorry, I'm just gonna keep talking. Okay, but anyway, so when I don't get enough sleep, I make bad decisions. I make bad food decisions. Um, sometimes I feel like when I'm, you know, tired or fatigued, or fatigued, um, I don't know what I want to eat. Um, but it's funny because when I'm tired or fatigued, um, for some reason, my tired brain just makes me think of, um, we, I don't know, weird things. I and mean, it makes me make, you know, I don't know, crave things that I don't normally eat. And thank you all for letting me know who's not um, frozen. So, um, in our weekly this week, it said, you know, how do you know when you've had a quality eat or quality sleep? I'm sorry, Carol Lou said, I'm the opposite. I don't eat when I'm tired. I eat when I'm stressed. I understand. Um, so um, in our weekly this week, it said, what, um, what is quality sleep? So according to this, according to the Weight Watchers Weekly, remember you're going to pick one up this week or you're going to download it from, um, from online in case, if you're an online member. So... Um, if you had, if you've had plenty of sleep and your body is truly rested and it's replenished, because, you know, rest is, some, is something that you know God made all of our bodies to do, you know, to need. Um, so you, we have to rest, you know. And I'm one to talk because I'm, you know, stay up late doing this, you know, get up and go to work, um, you know. So I'm one to talk about to talk about rest. But I do realize how important it is that if you, you know, as long as well as eating. And moving more, getting enough rest actually contributes to a healthier lifestyle and it can help with your weight loss. And I saw a commercial this morning for a mattress company that actually said, it had a little tagline that said that, um, that getting enough sleep a night could actually help with weight loss. So the, you know, so this mattress company is advertising that. Hey, and we've got a Kathleen that is new here and it's K-A-T-H-L-E-E-N. If y'all um, say hi to Kathleen, she's new with us tonight. So, um, but it's a proven fact that getting enough, um, and I've got a couple of people asking about when the new program will begin. We're gonna start talking about the new program at 20 till. And remember, I only have some sketchy details. I mean, I don't know everything about the new program, so. Don't get too wound up about it, but 20 till. Somebody's gonna let me know when it's 20 till. Okay, so right now we're still talking about sleep, and um, it can improve your mood, 
Um, I know that it improves bodily functions, like your body doesn't function correctly. Um, you know, if, you, if you're not getting enough rest, um, sleep deprivation is actually used as a torture technique. I think everybody knows that. But um, yeah, sleep deprivation is used, um, you know, for a lot of prisoners of war and people, you know, when they're trying to get information from them, they will deprive them of their sleep because you get a little crazy when you haven't had enough sleep. And trust me, you don't even have to have not enough sleep over and over and over and over and over again. You know, it can happen, you know, if you're missing an hour tonight and an hour the next night and an hour and an hour and an hour, not getting enough rest, can, it can make you crazy. It can make you loco. So, um, yeah, and, it, and it's proven research that getting enough rest does help with your decision making and it does help with your, um, with your weight loss efforts. So they say that on average, there's no magic number. It's different for everybody. Um, like I know my, um, my mom, before she went into the hospital, a good night's sleep for her, I mean a good night's sleep for her, like she felt rested when she woke up. Um, she woke up, she was ready to get up. She wasn't getting up with an alarm clock. It was about six hours, um, but then she would catnap off and on all day, but she felt rested after six hours. So according to our Weight Watchers Weekly, seven to nine hours of shut eye each night seems to be the sweet spot. So where are you at in the sweet spot? I'm gonna go ahead and say most nights, I only get about six to six and a half hours of sleep. My sweet spot seems to be about seven and a half to eight. So getting enough sleep is definitely something that I'm gonna have, that I you know, need to work on and I know I need to work on it. Um, but I get, right now I'm getting about six and a half um, hours of sleep a night and I need the, my sweet spot. Oh, and Wendy says hers is nine. My sweet spot is probably closer to eight. Um, that's when, when I wake up the first time, um, Kathy says seven, when I get up the first, when I wake up the first time, that I can go ahead and get up um, oh, and Lacey says she's glad she found the chat. So, yeah. So, I think Lacey might be new, too, if everyone wants to say hi to Lacey. Diane's saying nine. Kathy says six. So, you can already see. It's it's already, it's all over the board just in the, you know, just in the few people that have answered. But to know that you've gotten a good night's sleep and that you've, you know, you've replenished what your body needed, um, you should be able to, unless you have a sleep disorder, you know, because there are some people with those, and I actually have a mild one. Um, but... When you wake up the you know the first time, and I'm not talking about waking up because you're having a hot flash. Remember, did y'all did everybody notice I stopped fanning myself? Yeah. So those have been happening more and more at night. Um, I'm not talking about you got up because of a hot flash. I'm not you know sorry if there's any guys here. Not talking about you got up because you had to go to the bathroom, you had to go potty. Um, not because uh, you know the dog got up and needed to go out. I'm talking about you woke up and thought, hmm, I could get up. I know some of us then, hit, like me included, hit the snooze. Oh yeah, I can totally get up, but I'm gonna sleep for 15 more, 10 more minutes, 15 more minutes, you know, whatever. Um, but that's how that's how you know. So if you when you wake up that first time, if you feel refreshed, that's how you know. And you should go ahead and get up. I'm super bad to hit the snooze, but you should go ahead and get up. Um, the let's see and how that helps. So according to our weekly, how it helps not only is getting enough sleep good for you, not getting enough sleep has been linked to overeating and weight gain. Hmm, that's interesting. Inadequate rest can make it harder to stick to a healthy lifestyle too. I know that for a fact. Studies have shown, so these are actual studies with real people. Studies have shown that people who sleep six hours or less a night tend to eat uh, tend to eat more snacks in the evening and also get less physical activity the next day. Plus, when you're exhausted, you're less likely to want to pack your own lunch or prepare a healthy dinner. I think that's probably true. Um, and I think it was maybe Cheryl that had posted something in our group about, um, and it was just a cute little funny, but it was talking about um, that if you went to bed earlier, then you, you stopped eating. So that's not so funny. I mean, that's not just funny. You know, um, if you go to bed earlier, you're not up snacking around because I know the nights, well, like last night, we stayed up to watch the UT game and we finally won, finally won a game. We had to have, you know, six more injuries and uh, take some freshmen off of their red shirt status to, you know, to make it. But we finally, you know, finally won a game. But our game didn't start until 730. Heck. And even though we were gonna get this extra hour of sleep, you know, at, by the third quarter, it was getting pretty darn late. 
And so I was, and I was starting to graze, you know, I was starting to look around the, you know, look around the loft. Hmm, what do I have? You know, I've got some uh, skinny pop and I've got some this and I've got some that. Fortunately, I don't keep anything in the loft that, that I shouldn't be eating. Um, so yeah, so I didn't, I didn't make any bad, uh, bad decisions last night, but the longer I stay up, the later I stay up, the more I start craving food. If I go ahead and go to bed at my normal, uh, at my normal bedtime, that's less likely to happen. Okay, so what do you need to do to try and make sure that you get some more sleep? So I know, I mean, if you've got small kids, you know, that are, you know, wild and Casey and Alan are getting ready to have this, but if you've got small kids, a routine is critical, critical for a new baby. It's critical for small kids. I mean, think about it. Um, if you let your, you know, four, five, six, seven, eight year old, if you let them go to bed whenever they wanted to, and then try to get them up for school, that would that would be insanity. I mean, you wouldn't do it to them. You wouldn't you wouldn't shorten their time. You know how important it is. So think about how crazy they get. Um, you know, when they stay up too late and don't get enough sleep. That's you know, just because you're an adult doesn't mean it doesn't happen to you too. So, um, what do you do to create a bedtime routine? So some of the suggestions suggestions they had for pre sleep was to turn off electronics an hour before bed and leave the, or leave them in another room. That's, I think that's a great one. When John's home, he has to sleep with his phone. You know, he's not a doctor. He polishes concrete floors, but he has to be, but he has to be um, on call 24 hours a day, you know, just in case. And I have to admit, uh, that's uh, disturbing. You know, that disturbs me while I'm asleep. And sometimes when his phone goes off, if one of the guys calls, um, yeah, and Lynn's right on the money. She says, unwind no, unwind, no electronics, at least an hour before bed. You are right on the money, right on the money. Um, but so, uh, so sometimes, you know, when his phone goes off, if one, or if one of the guys actually calls and he has to get up and talk to him, I'm up, then I'm up. And usually I'll have a hot flash in that moment, you know, and I'm up and I have to come get something to drink. And then if I get something to drink, then you got to go to the bathroom, blah, blah, blah. Um, says, you know, for a pre, you know, for a pre-sleep routine, you know, maybe take a warm shower. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't do that, but I know a lot of people do that to relax laying out your clothes for the next day maybe you're going to have to you know go ahead and have your if you're going to get up and start walking like i have my walking clothes laid out and the way gwen had us do it you put your you put it on like a fireman does so my shoes are on the bottom and then my pants and then my sports bra and then the shirt so when i get up i just go put on you know the i'm sorry it's the other way around go start you know put all that on it's in the right order but when i go to sleep i know it's already in that order some people pack a lunch. Some people go ahead and brush their teeth. Um, write down, this It was a great idea, write down three things that you're um, grateful for. Read a chapter of a book, um, but not on a Kindle. Not on a Kindle or on a, what is the other one called, a Nook, because that's the electronics. That's gonna keep you up late. Um, you can practice a breathing exercise. And um, what I do is I make sure that the ceiling fan's on. Um, I sleep better when we have clean sheets. Like, I'm serious, as soon as we change that bed, it's like, oh, or change them like seasonally because we have different sheets for different seasons. Um, but the last thing I do before I go to bed, I crank that air down to 69, 69 degrees. And it doesn't matter if it's winter or summer, I crank it down to 69 degrees, turn the ceiling fan on. Um, I have to put my hair up, which my hairdresser hates, 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 because apparently my, um, oh, and Lynn says you, if you use a Kindle, use a blue screen. I don't know what that means because I don't have a Kindle, so enlighten us, Lynn. But my hairdresser hates that I put my hair up before I go to sleep because apparently the underneath of my hair is a different length than the top of my hair. But I have to put my hair up and no TV. So I know a lot of you all sleep with a TV, um, but that drives me crazy. So no TV. So I do cool room and ceiling fan and put my hair up. Um, apparently I have a heat problem. Um, and, uh, yeah, and Lacey says she loves flannel sheets. Oh, I love it when it's flannel sheet season. It is getting close finally. Um, but no TV for me. I also have a wipe off board, um, that I, believe it or not, that I have handy in there. Um, or I keep a notebook and a pen next to the bed because then if I do wake up, if I wake up and there's something on my mind or I think, oh gosh, I forgot to do such and such or I have to remember to do this, um, at work or whatever, then I go ahead and make myself a note because if I don't write it down, I will toss and toss and toss and toss and toss and toss and turn and toss and get up and sit down and lay down and get up and lay down. Um, 
trying to think, you know, okay, I don't, don't forget to do, you know, whatever it is. And I'll tell you from experience, if you'll go ahead and write it down somewhere, you know, get some post-it notes, get a little notebook, the wipe-off board works great. The wipe-off board is what I use if it's not something that I need to take with me, you know, like if it was just, oh, okay, I have to remember to turn the crock pot on or, you know, something like that, then I'll put it on the wipe-off board so that I don't, so I don't forget, um, to, you know, to go ahead and do that. Um, so let's see, then you need to decide, you know, okay, so realistically, um, what time do I need to go to bed and what time do I need to get up? So I told y'all I have a, I have a, a sleep disorder and that's what my doctor asks me every year. What time are you going to bed and what time are you getting up? What time are you going to bed and what time are you getting up? He's never happy with what time I go to bed and what time I get up. So no matter what time I go to bed, I get up during the week, I make myself get up and listen to what I'm saying. I make myself get up at, I get up at five, the alarm goes off at five, 5.10, 5.20, 5.30. So y'all know what I'm doing, right? Anybody wanna guess what I'm doing? Yeah. So, what I'm working really hard at is going ahead and setting it for like 5.20 or 5.30 and not hitting the snooze that many times, just going ahead and getting up going ahead and getting up because he said it would actually help me to wake up and I know somebody said up here earlier that when they get when they wake up they get up um, but I know that that would help um, figuring out your routine I do have sort of you know sort of a routine um, before I go to bed um, when John's home you know all bets are off um, I also have and y'all are gonna laugh and I told everybody this in our Weight Watchers meeting and they were very polite and just went yeah okay yeah and nobody really asked me about it but I have this rice bag, a rice bag that a lady made me, I don't even know, 20 something years ago. And what she made it for, she made all of us one at work. Um, but it's it's like a half of a dish towel. It's just a half of a terry cloth towel. And she sewed up three sides of it, stuffed it with rice, and then uh, whip stitched the other side. Hey, Mickey, whip stitched the other end. Um, and you're supposed to use it to heat it, to put like on your head or your tummy or ear, you know, or whatever. Um, when you've got a, um, a headache or something and um, oh, 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 and it's four minutes until 20 till. So thank you, Judy, for the four minute warning. Um, yeah, and Christine says that she's got her Fitbit set to wake her up at 6 a.m. Um, I can turn off my Fitbit. I can turn off my Fitbit and go back to sleep. I'm a professional at that. I've gotten to wear, because y'all know I already had this heat problem, so I don't need a heated up rice bag um, to sleep with. Unless I'm sick. I mean, if I've got a sinus infection or something, I'll heat it up and put it on there. But I've gotten to where when John's home, I sleep with the rice bag on my head. Like, I just lay it across my eyes, almost like a almost like a, a sleeping mask. But instead of a sleeping mask, I just lay it on my eyes. I don't know if it's the pressure. I don't know if it's the fact that it blocks everything out. Um, and then if one of his guys call, I swear I'll roll over and lay it like half like half on my eyes and half on my ear. It does not block out any sound. No sound. Oh, and Dolly says she freezes hers. I may have to try that for the hot flashes. Um, but yeah, it doesn't block out any sound, but for some reason, I don't know, it just makes me feel like there's a barrier between, you know, between me and them. So, but anyway, so that's just a few of the things that I do. So, what are y'all gonna do this week um, to make sure that you get some more rest? So, are you going to set a time? Are you going to, um, go ahead and get up when your alarm goes off? Or are you gonna take a nap? Are you gonna sneak in a nap? Um, are you gonna make sure that everything in the room, um, you know, is just like it needs to be? And, you know, and practice makes perfect. I mean, you don't have to do it. It doesn't have to be exactly right. You know, the first, first, you know, first time out of the shoot. Oh yeah, Christine's gonna go to bed a half an hour earlier. That's awesome. Yeah, if you head to bed, if you head to bed, oh, and nice of you to join us, Casey, but if you head to bed um, a half an hour earlier, you've got a much better chance of going to sleep earlier. And Casey says they finally got back home. So Casey's here just in time for us to talk about the new, you know, the things that I do know about the new program because we have one minute. So who is ready? Um, yeah, and everybody needs a rice bag. And if I had it, if I had it in here, I would show it to you, but I don't have it in here. But it's, they're really simple. Um, okay, so I want everybody to keep, keep posting what you're gonna do to make sure that you get um, some extra sleep, that you get the rest that you need, um, 
Yeah, Stephan uh, Stephanie's doctor said no screen time for at least two hours before bed. And no screen time, and I know it's getting ready to be 840, no screen time means TV. Um, my, our Weight Watchers leader, Gwen, actually turns her alarm clock around. She's got room darkening shades, but she actually turns her, um, her, alarm, her alarm clock around um, so that she can't see those because she said those, the letters are like, whoa, now she said it's like a, um, I don't know what, but I've noticed in our room, even when I've got it, um, even when, I'm, and hey, Kim's just now joining us because she has unexpected family time dining out. Awesome. Um, yeah, and Lynn's retired so she can take a nap. But like I've noticed that a couple of the things that we have plugged in emit more light than I realized. Okay, and it is 840. So I'm surprised y'all are not screaming at me. So let's just pause for a minute. And I want to say that the what we're getting ready to talk about is the Weight Watchers new program. So I don't want you all to think that I have any insider information that other people don't have. Oprah did not call me. She did not call me and fill me in on all this, although, you know, it would be, it would be nice to hear from her sometimes, you know, just a text, you know, if she would just let me know, hey, I know that you're here, and thank you, Christine says it's 8.40, so we are going to go ahead and segue, um, but yeah, you know, if she would just check in every once in a while, I mean, you know, we've got some great ladies in our, um, in our closed group, um, you know, if she would just check in. Anyway, I'm kidding. So I don't want y'all to think that I have any great and fantastic um, insider information that other people don't have. Um, this is not a top secret secret mission. This is not the CIA or the FBI. Nobody's getting in trouble. Nobody's um, nobody's at Weight Watchers going, you know, writing down this information and leaking it out to the public. Um, there are too many. There are too many people. At Weight Watchers that are already involved in the new program that um, to keep it under wraps um, they want to announce it when they want to announce it because that's the way Weight Watchers does it so notoriously I shouldn't say notoriously but they have always released whatever the new program was going to be they've released it um, at the end of the year um, and they um, so you know, so that it can be ready at the you know at the end of the year to start in January. Um, and this is no surprise to anybody, but most people join Weight Watchers in January, and then the you know for all of our New Year's resolutions, and then the second most frequent time um, I think is like September. It's like around Labor Day. There's, so there's like a surge of people that join in January, and then there's another surge of people that join. I believe it's in it's around Labor Day. So that's why they plan them for this time. Um, so anyway, I want everybody to remain to remain calm. Nobody's getting fired. I don't know why there was a bunch of things going around about people getting fired for releasing information. Nobody's getting fired. And again, these are not top secret documents. You know, and I don't have any documents. I don't want you to think I, you know, I don't have anything like that. But this is not top secret information. Um, they just want to be able to present it um, in the proper manner with the proper tools um, so that people don't get confused. Um, I've heard a whole lot of negative publicity around this or like negative chatter on um, the groups that I'm in. And I think I'm in eight or so different Facebook groups right now, plus Instagram, Pinterest, you know, things, well, of course, Pinterest isn't talking about it, but you know, things like that. And oh my gosh, there's so much negative stuff going around. People calm down. It's Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers is not gonna do anything. They're not gonna make any changes that are going to harm any of us. Sure, a lot of us had our feelings hurt, and thanks, Cheryl, since 135. Um, so, um, yeah, okay, I'm going to sidetrack for a second. Alan's making fun of my accent when I said fired, out of love. Yeah, fired. You're fired, Alan. But anyway, um, so everything they do, you know, is in our best interest. Um, they're not sitting, you know, oh, even though a lot of us had our hearts broken when we switched from... Um, points plus to smart points when some of our favorite treats, you know, went up. But let's face it, did we need to be sitting and eating, you know, four, five, and six, five or one bars because they were two smart points? No, I needed to be limited to one. You know, they needed to limit me to one. So, first, let me say, I promise that all of these decisions are being made to um, make it easier for us to um, make us more successful. Um, it's in their best interest and our best interest for us to be successful. They want us to be successful so that we talk to people about things like this, so that we, you know, are healthy. Losing weight um, is great. You know, they want us to lose weight on Weight Watchers, but ultimately, 
it's in their best interest and our best interest if while we're losing weight, we are also getting healthy. Because um, I think everybody out there will agree there are a million things that you can do to lose weight and to lose weight fast, but they are not healthy, they're not sustainable, they're not long term. Weight Watchers is continuing and continuing and continuing to look for ways for us to, yes, lose weight. And yes, some of us are going to be in the turtle club, but that's okay. It's okay to lose weight a little bit slower and be in, and be in the turtle club but your health is gonna improve. Um, I know tons of people, tons of people, that even while their weight was slowly creeping off, slowly creeping off, um, they reduced blood pressure medication, um, they reduced um, uh, uh, insulin, um, you know, I mean, lots of different things. I have not had a Tums, a Rolaid, I haven't had anything like that in, I don't even know, probably two years. Okay. So these are the things, we only have 15 minutes left, so these are the things that I do know. Um, then these are the things that I know for sure. A, trust me, they have your best interest at heart. They really do. Um, a lot of people were saying, it's just a money-making thing. Yes, Weight Watchers is a business, and um, they, they, it is a business, um, and it is a business to make money, but... This is not just this is not just so that they can sell more things that have different you know numbers on the packaging. So, so first, remain calm. That's the first thing I'm going to say. Nobody needs to panic. There are no major changes um, coming. It's not going to be like when we switched from Points Plus to Smart Points. It's not anything that dramatic. Um, Weight Watchers normally does. Um, they do normally do something a big change every four years. Going from points plus to smart points was the biggest, hey Julie, but going from uh, points plus to smart points was the biggest change that they had made. I don't even remember how many years it was, but it was a huge change. And I remember I've been around a long time. I've been doing this 20, almost 25 years now. So, I mean, I've done um, fat and fiber. I've done points. I've done points plus. I've done smart points. I've done... Um, I mean, I've done pro all of them, probably everything. I had the slide, and somebody was talking about one of those the other day. Yeah, how ridiculously limited was that when um, when we had this, you know, the slide thing that we, you know, had to look at. Anyway, so I promise this is not a huge change. So every four years is a is a good size change. Points plus to smart points was a giant was a giant change. Then those off years are little tweaks. So they tweak, you know, they tweak the program on the off years. This is an off year. So what I do know, these the first things I'm gonna talk about, these are the things that I do know. They're still gonna use smart points. Smart points are not going away. Um, your smart points calculator will still work. So when you're figuring smart points, your calculator, so your, your smart points calculator is still gonna work. Whether you have the physical calculator, yeah, and Julie had one of the slides. Um, and Cindy's been a Weight Watchers member for 22 years. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, let me grab something to drink real quick. Um, whether you have the smart points calculator on your, um, if you bought the little calculator, the little, I think they're blue, if you have one of those, it will still work to calculate smart points. Cal uh, smart points are going to still be calculated the exact same way. Um, so it's still going to be um, calories, fat, saturated fat. Um, oh, and if you noticed, and protein, and if you noticed in the um, October issue of Weight Watchers magazine, they were talking a whole lot about lean protein. A whole lot about lean protein. So let's just all keep that, you know, keep that in mind, lean proteins. Okay, anyway, so smart points calculators will still work um, your, um, on your phone. That's still going to work. It'll still, you know, still calculate smart points the same way. So don't panic over that. Now, what smart point ca calculations, what they will be, might be a little different. We'll talk about that in just a few minutes. So um, I can tell you this too. You will find out if you are a... Um, if you're a member, like a like you go to a weekly meeting, you will find out. Or if you're an online member, you will find out. Um, if you're a monthly pass holder, so if you're a, if you're a, an online member, that counts as a monthly pass holder. But when you attend your meetings, if you're a monthly pass holder and you're doing e tools, your your e tools will update the first weigh in in December. So if you're so if you're the first time you weigh in, if you weigh in like we weigh in on Tuesday. So whatever the first Tuesday of December is, that's when that's when my I'll get my new program materials and that is when 
my app's going to change. So it'll just be, so it won't be December the 1st, unless that's a Tuesday, but I don't want everybody to panic. So if, you're, if your first weigh-in um, is not December the 1st, let's say that your first weigh-in is December the, I guess it could be all the way up to the 6th. If so, if you're, you know, if that, whatever day that is, if it's the 6th, don't panic if yours hasn't changed yet because it's not going to change until your first weigh-in. So just keep that in mind. That also means we only have just a few weeks to wait until the until the whole thing is rolled out and we know everything that's going on, you know, and we're all gonna live for the next three and a half weeks. I promise we'll be okay. I've been doing this again 24 years, waiting three weeks to get all of the details is not gonna kill me and it's not gonna change anything about what I do. So everybody just keep on keeping on for the next three and a half weeks. Oh, and June's gonna find out first because she says December the 1st is a Friday. So June, you're gonna have to come back and spill it and let us all know what it is on Friday, June, or Friday, December the 1st, her name is June. Um, yeah, so it sounds like Tuesday's the 5th, so I'm gonna wait five days to find it all out. Okay, so next thing. You will get new materials. So, if you attend a if you attend a meeting, like you physically attend a meeting, you're going to get all new materials. Now, I don't know if all new materials means that you're going to get, um, you know, that wel the welcome kit that you get when you first join. I don't know if we're going to get a new everything, or if it's just going to be a supplement. But we but we will be getting new materials. Um, I do know this. Uh, uh, let's see, the people that are online only. Um, Yours is just going to come up on your app. Of course, you're not going to get anything, you know, physically. Um, you will, I do know this for a fact, you will need to log in with your username and password that first day. So, when it's time to do this, you are going to have to do that. Please, if you don't hear anything else I say, please, for the love of Pete, figure out now what your username and password is. Like, on the handful of occasions that I've had to do it, I have to guess and guess and guess and guess and guess. There's going to be thousands of us. Th oh, oh, and Christine says, I hope they have a new charm. Yeah, that would be awesome. Um, but there will be thousands of us trying to log in the first, you know, few days. So that first six days, there will be thousands of us trying to log in. And tech support's going to be full. Um, there's going to be people asking, you know, what's your, you know, I forgot my username, I forgot my password, you know, whatever. Please don't be one of those people. So let's just stop right now. And everybody show me, everybody raise your right hand, not the hand you write with, just in case it's your left hand, but raise your right hand and repeat after me. I will figure out this week, this week, I will figure out what my username and password is. Promise me this week because I don't want to hear. I do not want to hear between because trust me, I hear from, I don't know, there's like 7,000 something of you all in our group right now. Um, several more thousand on, you know, Instagram, whatever, in the other groups that I'm in. I, I can't, I, I will not between December, December the 1st and December the 6th um, when that, um, you know, when all that starts happening. Don't come squawking to me if you didn't already figure out what your username and password was. So, this week, this week, um, and Tammy says, shouldn't Weight Watchers be planning on this happening and be prepared for the load? Yes, they should, but Tammy, I, I'm going to be, I'm going to be a little bit gripey here, and Casey's going to go, mother, because I do this at work. We are also adults, so we need to be prepared. Um, we don't need to rely on the poor tech support people at Weight Watchers for us not being um, prepared and Dolly's giving me a Spock hand. So Dolly, just a uh, fun fact, can you do this? Yeah. Anyway, that's just a little hidden talent that I have. But anyway, so we are responsible adults. We need to be prepared. So again, figure out what your username and password is. Figure it out. Figure it out now. Okay, because I want y'all to be prepared. I don't want any, seriously, I don't want any unnecessary angst and anxiety. This is not this is not um, life or death. It's just Weight Watchers. Okay. And let's see. The name is Freestyle. I do know that. I don't know why everybody's wound up on what the name is. It's Freestyle. Oh, I don't know if people are wanting to do a new hashtag or what. But anyway, it's called Freestyle. So, which actually sounds, um, you know, kind of, 
I don't know, makes me excited for some other things, which I'll talk about here in just a few minutes. Um, you really, really should, if you're a, if you're a member, if you're a, if you're, I'm sorry, if you're a physical member, like you attend meetings, I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you attempt to attend a meeting in the month of December. So um, I'm not saying that you have to go that first week. Oh, and Debbie says, being in IT support, you can never have enough staff during a period of time like that. Seriously, this is like Y2K for Weight Watcher people. But anyway, um, yeah, and Mary says, oh good, I'm great at freestyling, ha ha, LOL, yeah. So, um, I know, and Kathleen says, more things free, freestyle, I know, I know the name just gets all these, Whoa. so I'm hoping that everybody, okay, I'm hoping a little bit that we're talking about tonight, that this is getting you all excited. Dory says she's so excited. So I'm hoping this is getting you excited. I don't want anybody to be sitting at home going, oh no, oh no, there's a new program coming. You know, what am I gonna do? 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 This is an exciting time. We have the most opportunities with Weight Watchers that we've ever, 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 ever had. Um, I mean, I've never been able to eat this much variety, you know, of things. I mean, I have bacon for heaven's sake, you know. This is, it's exciting. Okay, so if you attend meetings, I highly recommend that you attend at least one meeting in December. Um, there's gonna be a lot of chatter. Um, I think you're gonna need the support of other people. If this is like, and I don't think it's gonna be hard, but I think this is like everything else that one question is gonna lead to another question, is gonna lead to another question, and it's kinda like in, the, in our granite shop, we give you a, a thing of the most frequently asked questions because sometimes looking over some, you know, looking at somebody else's question, then you realize, oh, I had a question I didn't even know I had. It generates good questions. So if you can attend a meeting, um, we are trying to find out if you're online only, if you can attend a meeting um, at no charge. We are, we're trying to find that out. I don't know yet. Stay tuned here. Um, when I find out, I will post it here and you know, y'all know me, I'll post it everywhere. But we are still trying to find that out. But I, I would highly suggest if you are a physical meeting member you know even if you're lifetime and you you know and you haven't been going um even if you're um you know if you've like so like if you're free for the month um even if you've been following simply filling um so I, I would highly highly suggest that so and carol's saying no meetings by her she can go to online only okay again don't panic we're trying to find out about the um if you can attend a meeting okay so if you just don't attend we're trying to find that out but if you don't have a meeting near you Remember the Sunday night after after mine changes. Guess what we'll be talking about. So what's the date on that? Does any can anybody tell me the date on that? So I'll let's see. If December the first is on a Friday, mine won't have updated yet. So I seriously doubt that we'll be having this chat on December the third. But if I so if I go to my meeting that next Tuesday, then what would that be? Would that be December the tenth? Um, and somebody please tell me, is December the 10th the date for our 50th um, chat? If it is, that would just be too weird. Okay, somebody else do the math on that while I keep talking. Okay, um, also, I already talked about this. The October Weight Watchers magazine um, was a lot about lean protein. It seems... It seems like the um, it seems like this plan is focusing a lot on lean proteins. So remember, they want us to eat healthier. They want us to stick with, you know, I think they're trying to push us more towards, not push us, I think they're trying to encourage us. Let's do it that way. I think they're trying to encourage us to eat more real food, less, you know, processed and packaged foods, and to encourage us by rewarding us for fewer points. Okay, so yeah, Debbie says that's, so for me, that'll probably be de Sunday, December the 10th. And was that the day, is that the day that we said a couple of weeks ago was going to be our 50th chat? So if today's the 45th chat. Anyway, that would just be too weird if it also happened to be the 50th chat. Anyway, um, yeah, so they're trying to encourage us. Um, they're trying to encourage us, I think. Oh, and Lynn says that may be the 50th chat. That would be hilarious. That would be hilarious if that if that's the chat. Yeah, if that's the chat when we're going to talk about that. Okay, and Debbie says this week's weekly is bean protein. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Okay, so, but anyway, so there is a rumor. This is a rumor, 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 people. There is a rumor going around that eggs might be less points, 
that grilled chicken might be less points. Um, and there's a whole subgroup of people over here that are saying that Chick-fil-A grilled chicken nuggets in particular will be zero points. I did not just say that Chick-fil-A grilled chicken nuggets will be zero points. I don't know. I don't know. That information has not been released to me or to anyone that um, I trust. So we'll just find out later. But it does sound like that leaner proteins are going to be rewarded, let's say, with lower points. I do know this. Um, so they have, there was a focus group of people and I don't know these people. I don't know any of these people. I know someone who is on it right, who is on it right now, but they just started it. But this focus group of, um, this focus group of people say that it's easier. They say that it's easier to follow. Um, they say that it's coming out before Christmas because it's actually going to help us somehow with Christmas planning. That makes me very excited. I don't know what that means. But it doesn't sound to me like they're going to be smacking my hand. It sounds to me like it, you know, it's going to be easier to plan for Christmas. Um, and of the people who were in that original focus group um, who have been on this, and, I, and I'm, I apologize, I don't know how long they've been on this. So I don't know if we're talking a month, a week, six weeks. I, don't, I have no idea how long they've been on this. But when they finished up whatever the, whatever the um, allotted time was for the focus group, yeah, and Carol says chocolate's free. <laughs> I'll say this. It ain't avocados. Yeah, avocados are not free. Dang it. Oprah. Yeah, call me. Oprah, call me. Anyway, um, but of the people that were in the focus group, when they when they finished, they said, you know, I guess they just asked them, you know, and I'm, I'm uh, paraphrasing here, that they just said, hey, do you want to stay on the new, you know, do you want to stay on freestyle or do you want to go back to what we were doing straight up smart points? 91% of the people in the exit group, I guess, said that they wanted to stay on the new program. It sounds pretty encouraging to me. You know, there's always going to be some whiner. So those not other 9%, you know, they're the whiners. Okay. Those are the things that I do know for sure. These are the things that I don't know and that we'll, you know, try to find out. If I can't find out before the chat, you know, when we all switch over and it's not a one, so I'm going to, you know, start wrapping up. But these are the things that I don't know. Um, I'm not sure if the daily numbers and weekly numbers will change. There's a whole lot of rumors about that. Um, I, don't, I don't know. So, again, if... Let's just say if some things go down in points, um, you know, if some more things go down in points, it could be. It could be that our daily and our weekly will change. But again, remember, don't get so hung up on the points because they are trying to change, you know, things calorically and, um, uh, you know, how and how, you know, how our body processes it, you know, and things. And I think they're also trying to encourage us to use um, a more steady amount of points, you know, per day and not hold them until the end of the week. Again, that's just my gut feeling. That's my gut feeling. I do not have any data to, you know, to back that up, but I think that that's probably a little bit of an issue is people hoarding their extra points um, and saving them, you know, until like the, um, the end of the week. Again, I, I don't know. I, I don't have anything to back that up. That's just my theory. Okay. It does sound like that blue dots will be a little harder to get. Okay, I don't know. We don't all live and die by the blue dot. I know a lot of people like to get those, but it sounds like the blue dots will be a little bit harder to, you know, to get to achieve um, a day. Um, there is a rumor that uh, okay, and Kim says, does it replace simply filling? Um, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. But ho hold on a second. I'm going to tell you something that my what my gut tells me about it. Um, Again, there's a rumor that some lean proteins will either reduce, um, reduce in points, or could go to zero. Please do not start eating your weight in eggs or um, Chick-fil-A grilled chicken nuggets. I did not say that those were zero. I don't know how many smart points they're gonna be, and I don't know how many points you're gonna get a day, so just breathe. Again, just breathe, but it does sound like that lean proteins could go down or maybe even go down uh, some of them to zero don't know which ones okay the simply filling question it sound sounds to me like like it's um, smart points with a focus on simply filling 
That's what it sounds like to me. So, sound, you know, there's a whole lot of you all that are successful on Simply Filling. I personally did not do well on Simply Filling. Um, and if you don't know what Simply Filling is, you really need to come over and join our group. Um, our closed Facebook group and there are a lot of ladies on there that do Simply Filling. I do not have time tonight to explain Simply Filling and I wasn't good at it. So I'm probably not the role model for Simply Filling. But what I personally do is I do Smart Points, but I have a tendency to lean towards Simply Filling. So even though I'm counting all of my points, I'm counting all my points, everything, even if there's zero points, I still track them. I still track my zero point foods. So even though I'm still tracking everything, um, I tend to lean towards Simply Filling. So a lot of what, uh, yeah, and Julie said she only lasted four hours on Simply Filling. Yeah, I, I just couldn't do it. And Lacey wants to know why will it be harder to get. Lacey, again, that's just my gut, my gut feeling. Nobody, no one has said that they will be harder to get, but my gut tells me that they'll be harder to get because unless they change, unless they change the way that it was, um, you know, how, how that's calculated, but it just, but it sounds like that it's going to be, I don't know, my gut just tells me that it's going to be, um, um, like, kind of like, I, I'm not saying that I know everything, but kind of like I do, um, I still count smart points. I can't be trusted. I cannot be trusted on a straight up simply filling. That's just me. Just me. Um, sounds like Julie and I can't be trusted on simply filling. I don't have, and uh, Popcorn Karen said she doesn't have a, um, that she doesn't have a full, like she doesn't have a full sensor. I don't either. I'm, I, I don't. And I'm already sick by the time I realize that I'm full. Um, Cindy says she heard that fruits will have smart points now. Cindy, I heard the opposite. I heard that no, I heard that no, no currently zero fruits or vegetables are going to have points. Um, so I don't think that's gonna, I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, so let's see. Um, okay, so I think it's gonna be smart points with a tendency to lean towards simply filling. So some that's my gut, is that it's gonna be some kind of a blend of that. So that those of us who would like to follow simply filling, but we would still like to have some um, choices, um, some other choices, you know, like Popcorn Karen was talking today about um, not being able to eat her Kodiak cakes if she went straight um, simply filling because she would run out of points too fast. Anyway, my gut tells me it's gonna be a blend. That's gonna be a blend of the two. Okay. And the very last thing that I want to talk about tonight was we're back to this question of can the people who are online only can you attend um, can you attend a meeting for free? Um, I'm not going to give up the pursuit of the answer of that question. I think that's an extremely important question. Um, I think that it's critical that people who are online only are given an opportunity to visit one meeting. I know like our meeting, like Gwen's meeting, if you're here in Knoxville, Tennessee, um, if you can find a meeting that, and it's not hard to find a meeting that Gwen does, um, she will she will let you attend um, a meeting um, even though they're not going to get paid for it. Little, little um, comment, little side comment here. I don't know um, how many of you all know this, but the, um, the way they get paid, the way that Weight Watchers leaders and the receptionists and everything, you know, they're, they, they love you all, but they're not doing this for free. <laughs> they are not doing this for free. They are getting paid. And the way that they get paid is for attendance. So um, if they, on their own, decide to let you attend for free, then you need to thank them profusely because that means that they just, um, you know, lost a spot in their group that they are not getting paid for. Um, Gwen will do that. So if people need to come back, you know, or like if they want to try it out, if they want to try Weight Watchers out, you know, she'll let them do that. So, but I think it's critical that if you are online only and you are paying for, you know, you're paying for your membership and you're online only, I think it's critical that you go to a meeting. So I will find out. I will find out. I promise I will find out. I will not give up. I will not give up until I find out. Um, if y'all can attend a meeting, um, so I've asked here in Knoxville, but Knoxville is a fr it's a franchise. There's a franchise owner um, for Tennessee. Um, so I'm trying to get a global answer instead of just a local answer. And you're very welcome, Sally. Sally said that's why we thank you because oh because I'm their, your leader and I do it free of charge. Mm hmm. Well, yeah, you're very welcome. Um, but. Um, yeah, so I will not give up until I find out. So here, um, yeah, and Carol says this online members, thank you. 
So if you are an online member and if they say no, okay, they say no, but I'll, you know, but I will find out. If you're an online member or if you know if you're a regular member and you miss the meeting or if you just need some extra help or um, you know or you're confused or whatever y'all know I'm not gonna bail out on you <laughs> I love to find out as much information as I can um, and then you know and then pass it on obviously because I like to talk a lot um, I wish there was a job for just talking all day I guess there is jobs for that but anyway a job that I could do for just talking all day um because that's what I much prefer to do it drives my employees crazy because I love to I love to stand out in the showroom and just talk to the customers and find out what's going on with them you know what are you doing with your kitchen how many kids do you have how many grandkids you know who's sick how can I pray for them you know whatever I would stand out there and do that all day long but that doesn't pay the bills but anyway uh, and somebody and I'm sorry I just missed you oh it just rolled up somebody asked when the rollouts gonna be um but I missed it it was and maybe that's you all answering her. Maybe that's why it's rolling up so fast. But so if you're the, so the rollout will be whatever your first weigh in is of the of the month of December. So whatever if you're um, a monthly pass holder. So like mine will be the first Tuesday of December, whatever date that is. I think we decided it was December the fifth. So I promise I'll find out. If y'all can go to a meeting, if you can, I'll post it here and I'll post it in all the other groups that I'm in. If I, you know, when I find out, um, and if the answer is no, the answer is no. But you know, I got, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna find out. Um, but remember, after I, after I attend my first meeting, and um, when it rolls out, we will have a chat. And it sounds like from what a couple of people said, that may actually be our 50th chat, which is hilarious that that would be our 50th chat. But anyway, so we will have. Oh, and Julie says, try teaching. I talk all day, but nobody listens. That's the problem, Julie. Everybody listens, but then I end up standing there talking and not actually getting anybody their granite. But anyway, that's a whole nother, a whole nother thing. Um, and Debbie says, my theory is you always have a 50-50 chance of getting it. Yeah, of, I don't know if you mean of getting it on the first um, go round. But again, I highly recommend going to a meeting. I highly recommend remaining calm whatever you need to do to remain calm. It's a handful of weeks and then we'll know everything and I promise we will all be okay. But push come to shove, if you can't get to a meeting, if you are online only, you know, whatever, then keep checking back here because we will have our meeting. Okay, uh, I was gonna get Dusty for those of you who asked for Dusty, but he is passed out and I'm not gonna go wake him up. So if you're new with us and you haven't met Dusty yet, you're just gonna have to wait until next week. Um, even though he slept the extra hour, um, you know, from the time change, we have been going, 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 going all day. We went to church, then we went to Sunday school, then we went and did my dad's medicine, because um, we fill his, his medicine things. Then we stopped by my in-laws, and then we accidentally got to see Alan and Casey for a few minutes. And then we went to my husband's work and got some spreadsheet stuff done. And I trained him on some spreadsheet things. And then and we had a picnic lunch at his desk while we were there. And then we came home, packed, got him ready, took him to the airport. And so Dusty's been awake that whole time, that whole time. And he is so much like a cat. Like he normally has, like by this time of day, he's normally had like, I don't know, Casey, if you're still there, what, five naps by now or something? Anyway, he's passed out. So if you're new... Sorry, you'll have to wait until next week to meet Dusty. Um, but anyway, so is everybody feeling confident? Is everybody feeling confident? Um, and Janet wants to know what the new charm for the November meeting um, attendance is. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it is, what it's going to be. Um, and yes, Carla. Carla said Dusty goes to church with you. He does. <laughs> that's, how, that's how obnoxiously... Um, intertwined in our lives that he is and when he doesn't go to Sunday school um, yeah they kind of have a meltdown yeah it's like we missed last week and people were going oh Dusty it's good to you know it's good to see you um yeah nothing about me okay so anyway who's gonna remain calm who's gonna remain calm and who's super pumped so if you're gonna remain calm do a thumbs up and if you were super pumped and excited for, you know, some new vitality, sounds like it's easier. You know, 91% of the people said, um, uh, said they would stay on it. 
So if you're super pumped about that, then let's see some hearts. And the YouTube people are going, we can't see anything. Trust me, there's lots of them. Lisa wants to know if you're a physical member, can you attend more than one meeting in a week? Um, you can. You can once you've paid. Um, if you're a physical member, once you have paid for your meeting, then yes, ma'am, you sure can. You don't have to weigh in. You can just show them your, um, you know, your book will have a sticker in it. You can just show them where you've already paid. And um, so, uh, yeah, Carla said she tried to take her dog, but they would bite somebody. But, um, yeah, you can go to as many meetings as you want to. Yep, as many as you want to. So, um, you don't, and you don't even have to weigh in every time. But yeah, once you've paid that first time, you can keep going. And if like if you're going out of town, you don't even have to attend a meeting in your area. So um, that's a whole nother, you know, side situation, you know, side thing. But anyway, so yeah, lots of thumbs ups now for people who are um, going to remain calm and gonna gonna wait for this and be excited about it. And then lots of hearts. I'm seeing lots and lots of thumbs ups and hearts for people that are pumped and excited about something new. So. Yeah, and Carol's exactly right. We'll all be newbies. And you know what? We will be newbies together. Together. Um, and Lisa says they've got a great special on now for six months. Yeah, do it. She's going to do that, and then she's going to go back to online. Awesome. Yeah, and Dolly says she was worried, but now she's excited. Why were you worried? So, okay, again, in case I didn't already say this five other times, all of your news does not need to come from Facebook. <laughs> Please don't believe everything except for me. Obviously, you know, I only tell you the, you know, straight up, you know, truth, but please don't remember, please don't listen to all that stuff. Remember at the very beginning of our chat, whoever it was that was doing all the frowny faces, there are lots and lots and lots of people that I do not know why, do not know why, but they thrill in, in, in sending out panic, um, in ca causing panic and causing chaos, you know, so somebody at the first of the chat tried to wear us out and tried to distract us and tried to get us to stop or whatever it was that they were trying to do um, by putting up all the frowny faces. Um, and guess what? It didn't work. We're still here. Yeah. So anyway, everybody be happy. Be excited. This is going to be awesome. Um, Lacey, I don't know how much it is for six months. I'm sure we can check on that. But yeah. So you all are going to do it. You're going to be great. You're going to be rocking this. Um, and Lisa said, what did you say about passwords? So Lisa, you were supposed to raise your right hand and promise me that this week, this week, you're going to figure out what your username and password is because you will have to know that. And remember, we're all responsible adults. So we need to have that information ready when it's time to use it. So yeah, I'm going to jump off. I actually haven't had supper yet. And if I'm going to make this, if I am going to make this getting in bed on time, I'm going to have to hurry up and, you know, eat my supper and go to bed. But yeah, I love you all. You're going to be fine. Remain calm. Remain calm. Okay. Everybody keep checking in and keep up with your comments. And oh, and if you're watching this later on YouTube, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. We are over a thousand people. I've been getting a lot of comments lately though, and y'all don't even know on YouTube how much it excites me when I see, oh, I have a comment. So yeah, okay, y'all are gonna be fine. I promise, I promise you, you'll be fine. And I'm gonna go ahead and go, cause I'm hungry. Thanks for all the happy faces. Thank you for all the thumbs ups and the hearts. Y'all have an awesome, awesome evening and have a blessed week and I'll see you next Sunday.